Banjar today and my target is to go to a village called Cheni and there is a very very old tower over there but right now I just hiked down to Gusheni and I was supposed to take a bus from Gusheni to Banjar which is only 10 kilometers away from Gusheni but uh, right now it's 10 a.m. and the bus will come at 11 so I kind of have to wait for an hour so I decided to walk it's just so much better because I'll be going down so within an hour I will probably reach Banjar or I will ask for some lift but I can't wait for an hour for the bus to come So from this point one road goes to Banjar and another goes to Sharchi. Sharchi is actually very famous. It's in the heart of Tirthan Valley. But normally buses go to Sharchi and I really wanted to go to Sharchi. But due to landslides, the roads are not in very good condition. So buses are not running at the moment on that route. So I can't really go. Uh, so I will take that road that is going to Panjar or maybe I should ask in that shop if the buses are running because it would be more fun to go to Sharchi actually. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's just ask in the shop if the buses are running at the moment. As far as I know it's not. But let's see. Ah, uh, is Sharchi for the bus? Ja rahe? No? So I was right, buses are not running right now. Panjar it is for today. The most beautiful thing about walking is that you become aware more of your surroundings. I have the bad habit of ending up in a completely different place. Nowadays, I am even skeptical to say to myself in the morning that I am going to this particular place. Chances are, I will go somewhere else. So, change of plan. I am apparently, I am not sure if I am going to the village I intended to. But since I started walking from Gusheni, from Kulthi actually, uh, in this stretch, I just covered only four to five kilometers uh, towards Banjar. And in between, there is a very famous waterfall, which I knew about, but I was not really targeting because I did not know where exactly it was. But on the way, I just saw the signboard. I just knew this is the waterfall that is very famous. And it's called Shoi Waterfall. So I think I'm going there. <laughs> so from the entrance, a trail goes to that direction. And map is showing it's only 280 meters away. No, Google map was completely wrong. It was actually around three kilometers from the entrance. Choi Waterfall is in the Great Himalayan National Park and the trail goes along the company of the jungle. And as lucky as I was, there was not a soul for the 2-3 hours I spent sitting by the waterfall. Initially there was a group of people but they left after half an hour and I all alone sat by this beautiful flow of water crashing down. Hunger only brought me back to Nagni and I did not feel the need to go anywhere else. I only hopped on a bus to Banjar to get some work done 
and travel back to Kulthi with a very fulfilling day. And got some sweets, besan and jalebi for my host family wanted to have sweets for my birthday. And that's really my last exploration for now in Tirthan Valley.